So is this gonna be worth the money? That's where it might get kind of dicey. But they're so close. I'm not going out in public today. Hey girl, welcome to Emory Lane. <laughs> where my goal is to find you the best beauty products for the best prices. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a dupe battle. Kind of? Sort of? Considering the drugstore one came out first. Is it a dupe battle? I don't know. Between the new Urban Decay Vice Lip Bond and one of my favorite liquid lipsticks of all time, the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Lipstick. So, so good. I saw this, I was like, huh, that packaging looks like slightly familiar. Like the shape is similar. I realized that this is like glossy and this is semi man I guess, I don't know. But the shape was so similar and the claims are so similar and the way you have to apply it is so similar. I'm like, I really feel like they got inspiration from this. But let's find out. <laughs> I'm gonna divide my lips in half. Love these videos. I'm gonna be doing the Urban Decay on my right and the Maybelline on my left. And I'm going to start off with the Urban Decay, mostly because I'm super excited to try it. Okay, shake for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Is there any other thing that you need to do to apply it? We gotta, gotta double check. Got to do this right. How to use. Swipe on and let dry. Show off your PDA proof pout for up to 16 hours. That's hilarious though. PDA proof pout. I just dropped it. Okay, we're shaking it again. So swipe on and let dry. That's what I normally do with these kind of formulas. Oh, I think that's a pretty good shade match. We'll see when it's on the lips though. But let's talk about, you know, the differences, similarities, all that stuff. According to Sephora's website, a long lasting liquid lipstick that provides instant shine and highly pigmented color that stays on must shake to activate see they both have to be shaken being cruelty free shake set and bond with the 12 and 10 shades lip bond gives one swipe color with the comfort that won't quit each shade has a shiny glossy finish no flaking or breaking up transfer proof smudge proof food and water resistant that's where it might get kind of dicey 94% says gives full coverage instantly 98% of people said it felt lightweight uh oh kind of a lower number and 96 said it was gave long-lasting performance Ooh, so is this gonna be worth the money or should you stick with this one because it sounds like so far we might be leaning towards not spending the money because it is $25 not the most expensive lipstick out like there are like $40 lipsticks so not the so you know, it's kind of expensive so I am a person that if it lasts literally all the day long I will spend the extra money just because that's convenient I don't like spending more than like 10 ish dollars maybe 11 or 12 dollars on a lipstick that's not gonna last that's just my personal preference but if it will last all day i'm willing to spend a little bit more money i have it in the shade textum that one was the most similar to me to cheeky in the maybelline one there was also another one that was a little bit more bold it was raw footage in the urban decay one and royal in the maybelline one were very similar i almost decided to go with those but then i was like i kind of want to do neutrals <laughs> okay i think it's dry look how pretty that color is oh it's on my teeth i can't well i let that dry for a long time okay that's still not dry i don't know if it ever will I'm pretty sure it's dry. It's not, it's not coming off, so let's do the other side. And then according to Amazon, shake up your long wear with the Superstay Vinyl Ink. It is a liquid lip color that delivers a no budge, saturated vinyl color that lasts up to 16 hours. Did the Urban Decay one say how long it lasted? I could have sworn that it also said 16 hours. It's color lock formula, defied smudging and transfer. Swipe the formula across your lips and enjoy an instant high shine and all day color available in 10 shades. And it is a much more reasonable price for my wallet. It goes goes between like $8 and $9-ish, depending on what shade you get. I said I have it in this shade, Cheeky. We have construction going on on the outside of the house, so you might hear a noise every once in a while. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't help it. I'm gonna have to fix that spot. <laughs> but they're so close. It's just the Urban Decay one is warm town and the Maybelline one is cool town. They feel literally the exact same, like down to how they're like slightly tacky for the first like 20 minutes. Well, I don't know if the Urban Decay one is, but that's how the Maybelline one is. And then they like dry down the rest of the way. I would say they the equally amount of shiny. Maybe the Maybelline's like slightly more, but just barely. I exfoliated my lips really well before I put this on and then like 20 minutes before I put on the lipstick, I put some Aquaphor on my lips and then wiped it off right beforehand just to make sure everything was nice and moisturized. But man, my lips were dry apparently because I still have a little tiny bit of a crack on the Urban Decay side, but my lips were pretty bad this morning. So I'm not gonna hold it against the Urban Decay because I think the same thing would have happened with Maybelline. They're like just the same though. They're close enough for me at least. I'm not going out in public today. It's fine. They apply the same way. Like they are the same as of right now, in my opinion. Now we'll see what happens. Totally go downhill. They might wear the exact same. Just FYI, for whatever reason, long lasting lipsticks have a really hard time staying on me. Like a really hard time. So this is the most extreme test that you can do with these lipsticks. I'm almost positive. Like the Super Stay original one does not stay on me. The NYX one does not stay on me. Like, so just, just keep that in mind. If you tried some of those and you're like, oh, those stay on 
gonna be fine. Most likely, depending on how this goes, you'll be, this will be fine for you. It is currently 11.23, woohoo, it's not noon. I'm gonna go about my day, I'm gonna check in halfway throughout the day natural lining. I'll probably wait a little while, at least a half hour. I'll try an hour, we'll see. Before I eat or drink something, just to make sure these really set in, but I will see you in just a second. Okay, it has been roughly six hours. This is what we're looking like. I did take a video right before I ate something. It was for a TikTok video, but you know, it still counts. Everything looks about the same. I would say the biggest difference between the Maybelline and the Urban Decay is the Urban Decay is a lot more sticky. I don't think you can tell by just me putting my lips together, but like when I was eating, I had like super yummy, like soup and sandwich, so good. When I was eating, I felt like the food was sticking to just this side of my lips and it was the weirdest feeling ever. And I kind of had to like push it all off even like taking a drink didn't help. Also, when I took a drink, speaking of that, I should have videoed it, I didn't. But when I took a drink, I noticed that the Urban Decay transferred onto my water bottle and then my Maybelline didn't really. There might've been like one little spot or something, but like it wasn't nearly as much as the Urban Decay. Now, it, I wouldn't say it was like a complete like lip print. Is that what you call it? Like, like it didn't look like half my lip completely came off. There's a lot more transfer. But besides that, they look about the same. Like they, they haven't really changed that much. I'm not like just dissing the Urban Decay yet. We'll see what happens by the end of the day though. Okay, it's been over 12 hours. This is what the lips are looking like. We've got a little tiny bit of fading right in the middle, which happens, it's not that noticeable. First thing, we need some more neutral color. That doesn't bother me. What bothers me is the fact that within the last hour-ish, the Urban Decay side started pilling, like really bad. I shouldn't say really, really bad, but like, like you can just feel it when you talk. Maybelline side's never done that before, ever, and I don't know how many times I've worn it, and it just feels gross. And there's more cracking on this side than there's on this side. There's a tiny, tiny bit of cracking right here. Again, nothing too awful. This side, the Pilling makes the cracking worse. Pretty packaging. Nice thought, Urban Decay. I really think, like, unless you really just want to support Urban Decay, <laughs> just buy the Maybelline one. I think it's better. It's more life proof. Not gonna pill on you. And like I said, I am the one that I sh that should be testing this kind of stuff out because if a liquid lipstick isn't gonna last on someone, it's gonna be me. So if you're like a normal person <laughs> that can handle liquid lipstick, that it doesn't smear after a while, like halfway through the day, you're gonna absolutely love this. This pilling, pilling, no pilling, no, no pilling. I don't know. It transfers more and it's more sticky. It sticks. My hair sticks more to it. Food, no, mm -mm. I don't like that. It feels like this is the high end one and this is like a not as good dupe. That's what it feels like. I'm sorry, Urban Decay. If you wanna see a dupe battle between the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and the possible dupe, the Elf Halo Glow, you can click right here. I'll link everything I talked about in the description box below. Those links are affiliate links, so I do get a small percent of the profits if you use my link to buy the product, but it's not affect you in any way. I love you so much, now never forget that you are enough. Bye.